Hello guys, welcome to our very first lecture. Today we're going to talk about, start to talk about the mean, the median, and mode. We're going to do some uh, illustrations using different scenarios to find the mean, median, and mode using TI-84+. Well, there's no easy way to find the mode, so we're going to just show you uh, what the mode is. Uh, but we are going to find uh, the mean and median using TI-84+. First, we're going to find the mean of uh, a list of numbers. Mean and median of a list of numbers, and then we find the mean and median of uh, numbers with frequency and uh, numbers with classes. Okay, but today we're going to talk first about how to find the mean and median of a list of numbers. So, looking here, you can see that we have uh, numbers, a list of numbers 34 to 20. I have arranged the same numbers down here from the smallest to the biggest. And the reason I did that was to show you very quickly, uh, easily, how we identify the mode. You can see 30 appears two times, the rest of the numbers appeared only once. So the mode in this case is going to be 30. Okay? So the mode is the number that appears most. The median is the middle number. So you can see we have um, 29 in the middle. On the left, we have five numbers. On the right, we have five numbers. Now remember sometimes we can have two numbers in the middle. If two numbers appear in the middle, then you divide both those two numbers by two. That will be your median. Okay? But in this case, we have 29 as our median. So we're going to go ahead to TI-84 plus and find the mean and the same median that we have found. Okay? So to, to do that, go to TI-84 plus and turn it on. I'm going to turn it on. Let's clear this. And we're going to go to STAT every time we want to enter numbers to compute some, you know, uh, mean, median, mode, or any, any other thing. You go to start, STAT, and then edit. Select that. You can see it's a table. List 1, list 2, list 3. So you can enter your variables in, you know, any of the lists. So we choose to enter this particular list of numbers in L1, 34 through 20. So we're going to do 34, enter, 30, enter, 40, enter, 28, enter, 26, enter, 19, enter, 30, enter, 44, enter, 22, enter, 29, enter, 20, enter. Okay, so let's go back and make sure that all the numbers are in order, they're correct. So we have 20, 29, 22, 44, 30, 19, 26, 28, 40, 30, and 34. Okay, so I'm just entering this data to show you how to how to enter the numbers in the table next time we'll just enter the numbers and uh, go from there okay so the next thing we're going to do is just to compute the mean and the median so to do that you go back to start and go to calc uh, you see one variable statistics and uh, two variable statistics we're talking about one variable a list of numbers so we select number one and then you can see list where did we enter our numbers in L1. So this is good. So we'll go down, enter to calculate. So we'll calculate and we'll see the very first out output here is uh, the mean, x bar. So the mean of these numbers is 29.27. So let me write it right here. 29.27. 29 okay? So that's the mean. If you want to see the median, you have to scroll down and you can see MED is 29, just like we found out before. The middle number is a 29. Okay? So in your TI-84+, plus, you don't have to arrange numbers. You don't have to sort them. Once you enter the numbers, it's going to compute the mean and the median for you. Okay? So next time, we are going to see how we can compute the mean and the median of Numbers with frequencies, like uh, the one we have right here, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in uh, TI-84+. Okay? 
Thank you. Bye-bye.